In today's video, I'm going to be discussing another core algorithm, and this one is going to be core algorithm number five. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about uh, determining a maximum or minimum input. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the user enter a series of input values and then we're going to find out which is the maximum and the minimum value from amongst those. Right? Um, when I say it that way, it's kind of a, an odd way of saying it because we're not actually going to take all the inputs and save them and then, uh, and then find the max out of those. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to determine the maximum as we go. Right now, determining the maximum isn't uh, to determine the maximum. It isn't required for you to keep track of the which numbers were entered. You only need to keep track of the current number and the maximum number. Okay, so let's see. So let's make some variables here. So int current number. Okay, and I'll need another one maximum number. Okay, and I'm going to set the maximum number. Uh, well, actually, I'll just set them to be nothing to start with. Okay, I don't need a hello world here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to prompt the user for some input. So please enter a number. Okay, so let's say we want to do it to 10 numbers, or actually, let's do it to um, until the person enters a negative one. Please enter a number um, negative one to quit. Okay, and it'll find the greatest from those. Okay, so then what we do is say C in, and we're going to take in the current number. Okay, now the first time we do this, we're going to have to, the current number will be the maximum number. So actually the first time we do this is not inputting the current number, we're inputting the maximum number. Okay, so it makes sense if you've only given me one number, then that number has to be the maximum number. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, loop it until we get um, until we get a negative one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say while actually I will take make this the current number because it will make my looping easier. Current number. Okay, well current number is not equal to negative one. Okay, then we're gonna do something. Okay, so my current num I enter my current number and I'm gonna have to say the maximum number is equal to the current number. And it makes sense. As I explained, the first they're gonna enter in their first number, and of course the maximum number is going to be that current number. Okay, if they did not enter negative one, okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to prompt again. Okay, so we're going to prompt and take in some input again. Okay, it might seem a little odd that we had to do this here and also down here, but we need to do it outside of the loop um, just to establish the maximum number first. Otherwise, we won't be able to um, do it, have anything for comparison inside the loop. Okay, so please enter a number negative one to quit. See in current number. All right. Then what we're going to do after that is we are going to say if the current number is greater than the maximum number. Okay, so if the current number is greater than the maximum number, then the maximum number is equal to the current number. Okay, and that's it. And at the end, we should be able to say C out the maximum, maximum, maximum number is maximum number. Okay, and we'll see if, if this works. Okay, so let's this here so we can see it. Please enter a number, I don't know, five, uh, nine, five, three, two, ninety, seventy six, four hundred fifty six, thirty four, forty three, negative one. 
base of the maximum number was 456. Now what happens if I only entered negative numbers? Let's take a look. Okay, so please enter a number, uh, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 6, negative 1. Okay, maximum number is negative 1. Okay, and it makes sense because that's the highest number that we entered. Okay, um, yeah, so, so far that program seems to work. Um, that's pretty much all there is to finding the maximum or the minimum number from an input. Now, um, to do a minimum number, of course, you should change this variable name to minimum number. Um, although I guess it's not completely necessary, but it would be confusing for anyone else reading your code to do that. Okay, but otherwise it would be exactly the same except this symbol here would be a, a less than sign instead of a greater than sign. So anyways, uh, hopefully this helps. It's a very quick one, uh, but it's uh, the kind of thing that um, we often do um, for different types of programs. So hopefully that helps, and uh, if you have any questions, please drop a comment in the comment box. Remember to subscribe.